Efforts to restore the honor of the victims of Japan's wartime sexual enslavement continue. A U.S. lawmaker has called on Tokyo not to distort history, while two Korean survivors continue their legal battle against Japan in a U.S. court, demanding a sincere apology for its wartime atrocities. Our Han Daen has this story. Two Korean sex slavery survivors took the issue to a U.S. court earlier this month. 87-year-old Yu Hinam and one other Korean survivor who refused to reveal her name are suing the Japanese government for 20 million U.S. dollars each as compensation for damages caused by the Japanese military's program of sexual slavery before and during World War II. The two are also demanding a sincere apology from Japan and listed the late Japanese Emperor Hirohito, the former Japanese Prime Minister Nobusuke Kishi, and seven Japanese firms, including Mitsui and Mitsubishi, as defendants in the case, which was filed at a federal court in California on July 13th. Their lawyer told reporters on Tuesday the lawsuit aims to make Japan acknowledge the truth about its wartime history and apologize as its acts of cruelty continue to this day in the form of politicians calling wartime sex slaves prostitutes. U.S. lawmakers are also urging Tokyo to apologize. Congressman Mike Honda demanded the Japanese government not distort history at a ceremony held on Tuesday local time. The ceremony marks the eighth anniversary of a House resolution on the wartime sex slaves that called on Japan to take full responsibility for its wartime wrongdoing. Honda, who led the 2007 resolution, said Prime Minister Abe has the historic opportunity to apologize and accept historical responsibility. He went on to say that Abe should pass a law that ensures young people learn about the country's wartime past so its mistakes won't be repeated. He pointed out that it's illegal in Germany to deny the death camp atrocities committed against the country's Jewish population. He stressed that no one should be subjected to the abuses the Korean women faced and vowed to continue to work against such injustices. Han Dan, Arirang News.